What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Kyle. Today we're going to be talking about how to bridge from Ethereum mainnet to base mainnet. Base? Yeah, whatever. Basically, you want to be able to switch networks. So we're going to do bridging and adding base to your MetaMask wallet. Um, so basically, like, for example, if we open up MetaMask right here, we're jumping right into it. You can see at the top we have Ethereum mainnet. And if you click this, you can choose different networks. So Polygon, Harmony, Arbitrum, these are all EVM chains that you can use MetaMask as a wallet for. But if you're interacting with a app on Polygon, you need funds on Polygon network in your MetaMask wallet, not on Ethereum mainnet. So we're gonna be adding base to this. So let's just go ahead and hit add network. It's gonna pop open MetaMask here. We're gonna put in our password, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, we got it. Now what we're going to want to do is do um, add base to MetaMask. So if we go to base docs, um, we can actually scroll down here and you can see that we have all of this information, which is all we need to add to MetaMask. So what we're going to want to do is hit this again, add network now that we're in here. Um, we can do add a network manually and then we can basically just copy these things over. So we have base mainnet, base mainnet, uh, the RPC endpoint, AKA the RPC URL. We're gonna go ahead and paste that in here. We have the chain ID 8453. Uh, we're gonna do the currency symbol is ETH, uh, block explorer URL, base scan. Boom, now we can go ahead and hit save we can switch to base mainnet. And as you can see at the top here, base mainnet. So now we've added base mainnet to our MetaMask wallet. Super easy, super simple. You can see that this is Ethereum, but it's on base, meaning that if you send ETH, the, okay, let me back up. The wallet address on both base and on Ethereum is the exact same thing. The difference is what, what network you're on. So for example, when people download FriendTech and they try to send Ethereum from their Ethereum mainnet wallet to the base address, you're just sending it to the same, the same wallet, right? You, you, get a, you get a wallet from uh, FriendTech. However, if you send ETH to that wallet, it's going to go to the ETH mainnet wallet, not to base, unless you've bridged that ETH to base. So that's what we're going to do now. You can see I have 0.038. Actually, let's see if we can send this over. So we have 49 USDC worth of ETH. And you can see the little icon is Ethereum. That's because we're on ETH mainnet. If we go to bridge.base.org, we want to deposit, meaning we're depositing to the base network. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my wallet. I'm going to choose MetaMask. We're going to get our little, uh, a little pop-up. We're going to use MetaMask here. Um, and I'm going to do account two and hit connect. So now you can see I have 0.03, uh, except I have 0.03 ETH available. So I wanna send 0.02 ETH, uh, let's do 0.15. Let's see if this works. Um, from Ethereum to base. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead, you can see receive ETH on base, transfer time a few minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and hit deposit ETH. So we're gonna get another MetaMask notification here um, network is busy. Gas prices are high. $7. See, this is why I don't like using Ethereum. $7 and 80 cents in gas. That's just absolutely absurd. Like I'm just wasting money doing this for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. Anyways, confirming, we're going to wait for confirmations. You can also view the transaction on Etherscan, but I'm not going to do that. So now I'm probably just going to clip to where the transaction goes through. Cause who knows how long it'll take on Ethereum. This is why Ethereum has a terrible user experience. Deposit in transit. This may take a few minutes. I mean, Jeez, come on guys, just use Solana. Anyways, uh, we're gonna wait here, but basically once it's on base, the idea is at that point, you can go to your MetaMask wallet. You can go to this top, the network switcher. You can see that right up there, right? And the idea is that you should be able to switch from Ethereum mainnet to base mainnet, and you would see the ETH on base mainnet in the wallet. From there, you can copy the wallet address from FriendTech and when you're on BaseNet in your MetaMask wallet, then you want to send the ETH to that wallet address. So that's how you would successfully send it. Oh, I mean, we can, I guess I'll wait. And then once it comes through, you'll be able to see it. You can see there's no transactions yet. There's no tokens yet, but you can see at the very top, I'm on base mainnet. 
you can see the little B next to Ethereum. So once the Ethereum pops up here, I can say send. And because I'm on base, I can paste in my friend tech wallet and send it. And it will actually get to my friend tech account, which is displaying the base, again, the base network uh, token value. So yeah, if this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this with other people if they need help. Uh, otherwise, you can also just go from Coinbase and select base on Coinbase when you send it out. Uh, make sure it doesn't say Ethereum because, again, you won't see it in Frentech because Frentech is using base. Hope that's helpful.